Okay, my friends, a shocker du jour for sure. Black is always vein blood. It's the O2, oxygen 2 version of blood. This red is the O3 version, is the art arterial blood. So you got vein and you got artery. Now, in all creatures it's that way. All the ones I know of that have red blood and dragons appear to have had red blood. I have hundreds of videos on this. I've never had a question from academia and I've tried to ask them all and they've never responded so I don't see that's going to happen. But the red and the black is the blood. You see the black and the red? This is the runoff from this gigantic dragon. I've shown this so many times I could not possibly count that high. You see all these dragon scales? That's his throat going all the way down. All of those are dragon scales. That's his throat. Now, the red and the black, I just want to show you the red and the black. You see it right here, red and black? The red is the red, really runoff, bloody red runoff, and it creates green plants. Red is, it, it, they sell blood to put on plants. Now, the black is the O2 version. So, all I'm showing you this, because I've shown this so many times, it's, it's uh, unbelievable how many times I've shown this to have so little interest by all the people that claim to want to know our history. It's just astounding. Okay, we saw the red and the black blood. This is the top of the Giza pyramid, and that's up close. Let's look at it first from up top. What's this black thing doing there? What are these holes doing here? Why are they, these nothing here is of the same shape or size. Very interesting. You were to think that it would have been very uniform. Well, let's look at this. When you get up real close to it, you see that? And what are these holes doing here? And then when you look real close, you say, what is all this sand looking stuff all over the place? What is that all about? All right, and you see, well, what's that black doing here? And people were carving their initials in here and everything. You can see them all over the place to prove they came up to the top, apparently. Now, don't forget, we got all this sandy looking red, almost looks like sand, and it's coming basically right out of here, <laughs> which happens to be the artery, and <laughs> that's the vein. Remember the black and the red? Okay, so you're going to say, oh, Roger, how would blood get way up to the top of the pyramid? Well, all biology has to be fed with blood if it's a red, blood, red blooded creature. And here's where that blood, red blood ran, right through here, all the way up into here. And they say they carved some red granite chamber, and they did. They probably did carve it, but they carved it from where there was red blood, which pools in the center and feeds off of there. There's going to be a delivery system of arterial blood into all of these different passageways, and they go down through those little stripes. Okay, see, this is my, one of my, um, well, this is the dragon scale I showed before. And this is where that blood goes in, exact same place, identical, right there, you see it? Here's where the blood goes in right here, same as this right here, right on the side, way down here. And then it goes up inside and it goes down, and I can show it down. This is where it comes down at the bottom. All right, let me show you, this is the dragon scale. Here's where it goes in the side. All right, let me come back to the shot here. All right, this is the side right here. It runs down this way to there. You see it? That's down this way. So it's running down all the way down to here. And it also runs up to here in a sort of a circuitous route. So it comes in here, where was it? Right there. I got this in the microscope, I'll show you. And you can see all the different layers of it's exactly like it was in the pyramids. And um, <laughs> that's just what it is. That's a dragon scale. And I believe these were all built from dragon scales, as far as I could determine. And, and I believe they were soft at the time that they were built, because this was a, a, around 25, 2600 B.C. 
and the great flood was somewhere in that area. I don't know. There was this could have been before or after. There was two or three very very catastrophic events in that area, in that range of time, and Velikovsky records them. Speaking of them, and the worst of all of them apparently was when Venus almost hit us, and that was the worst flood, and that caused all my mud fossils. And, I, and these are the ones I'm talking about, and these are the ones that created all these different creatures. They they hardened up into stone because they were partially boiled in the in the, the heat of the ocean because of the the impact into our atmosphere but it took seven days to get here and it cooked for seven days and it, then it bounced right off of our atmosphere and just destroyed everything on earth and that's why all these gigantic creatures i've been showing and everybody's been avoiding because it's too much for the mind well if you want to live in delusion that's up to you I examine, and I don't get upset about examining. I listen and I think. And they're showing different sizes and all kinds of things going on in here. So, this is basically the same thing as what I'm showing here. I, uh, it has the blood running through it. Why would they carve this here, the well? That's a, that's, that's not a well. It's an artery or a vein, one or the other. But if it's if there's a hole in there, it's going to be an artery. The veins harden up, just like I showed you at the top. You see, you see how the black one here? Where is it? All right. The veins harden up. The O2 blood turn hard, hard, hard. That's iron, hard iron. The O3 um, aversion turns into like like mud and cl and clay and this stuff. All right, that came right out of here. That's blood. That is blood. And as it hardens up, it just turns into, you know, sometimes it turns like this. That's that's a bloody, fleshy meat. And um, it depends on the conditions that were, it was in and how much chemistry was in the waters that it was in, how long it turned to try to dry out, what flushed it out, and, you know, all kinds of different stories have to be told about this. But you can see, these are nowhere as near the same size. You, you, if they was going to make it, they'd make it by block, by block, by block, by block. This is not, you don't just throw a whole batch of stuff up there and make make that. No, absolutely not. See, this 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 turns me on when I see something like this. Because you see these, they look like they're tree trunks. I think they believe they carved them down from trees. <laughs> I really do. So they didn't realize that these were actually dragon scales. They didn't realize the dragon, well, they knew about the dragons. There's no question about that. But here, I don't think they understood. They thought these were trees, it looks like to me. Those were not trees. Trees don't have blood running through them. This whole area over there near the uh, pyramids is, is nothing but biology. That is all biology. That is something absorbing or something draining into there. There's your main ve blood vessel or, or um, artery or whichever it is, and then it filters off into the vessels and then the um, capillaries. And then I think it's, this appears to me like this is draining blood into the, and, and then it's picking it back up in the dark area and bringing it back to be recycled. All right, now this is very cool. This whole area up there is nothing but biology. This is right near the pyramids. Now look at this. Where's the one that's really cool? Look at this. <laughs> look at that. You think that just happened by accident? <laughs> Nobody just made that. That is biology. Serious biology. And there's another one right next to it. These, I believe, are the lymph nodes. I was searching for lymph nodes the other day on the fish, and I found them. There's no question they're there. This is a lymph node, and that's what they look like. You see all these little things feeding into these bulbous spots around the edge? That's where the lymph feeds in. It detoxifies it and sends it out the lymph vessels to be dumped. And I believe that's precisely what we got here. The same thing. And there's a whole batch of them running down there because that's what they do. They link together. And here's some more. I don't know if I showed you this. I said nothing but biology. All that, you think that happened by accident? 
This is what I can't believe. That, oh, yeah, yeah, that's natural runoff. It's this, it's that. Well, no, that is biology, my friend. Just like the back of the fish. You see that? that you think that's just accidental? That is... Something is either being attacked in here or there's some, something going on, some kind of serious chemistry going on in there. I can tell you that right now. This is stuff is either pouring in or it's being fed out to go destroy something. <laughs> you see that? That's a repair. This was caving in because there was a blood vessel there or something that was an imperfection in that scale. And they came up here and they put in these pieces. You see, they only run like, like, they're not big, huge pieces. That runs here to here. And then they wedged in a couple extra ones to, to prop it up to keep this from caving in. That's all that is. That's not some special thing. They made some special entrance, I don't think. You know, I, I believe this is muscle. So I'm not sure it's showing this to pretend that this is a dragon scale. But this is the kind of biology that that creatures are capable of is making these tiny little blocks this is all fascia around the edges this is just that is is highly 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 magnified and i believe each one of those is a sarcomere that's a little mu muscle pincher see this is a dragon scale i have here i got this from greg morrison he sent me some fabulous stuff uh and i i think i uh, Okay, I'm going to leave it at this. This is in Turkey where the whole thing collapsed because this red blood had run out underneath these sarcomeres, which are, are muscle. That's muscle. This whole thing collapsed, an absolutely horrifying collapse. And it's because of the sarcomeres. I, I'm sorry, the, the uh, blood, the red blood runs out. You see all this red stuff? It ran out from blood vessels way down inside and I'll show you the anatomical and I'm going to leave it at that for today okay you see that spot that's all red blood this has to be flushed with blood this is in Turkey see that's red blood these are the sarcomeres and they are muscle fibers and some places they're nice and they're 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 just solid they're really nothing gonna you know they're they're fractured they can fracture easily because they're in blocks, as I showed you before, those little tiny blocks. But once you have blood, and the blood runs out, and drains down the hill, which this was on a hill, all that stuff ran out from underneath, and the whole thing collapsed. Okay, reported on this a number of times. There's the kind of red blood that runs out from the muscle tissue. This is in Turkey. That whole thing collapsed, because underneath, the red blood ran out, leaving voids. Okay, you ready for this? This is precisely what happened in Turkey. This is the upper layer of dirt where they grow their trees in. Then you get down here into the sarcomeres, which are the muscle tissue, which has created that landscape. I don't care what anybody says. I showed you there was areas in there that had red and it was running out. There's going to be layers that have very dense layers of red. If that ran down that hill, and ran out for whatever reason, whether it was excavated, somebody did, or whether the rain ran it out, you are in peril because of these fracture lines. They will just collapse as they did. And let me tell you something, that vein and artery inside that pyramid up here is nothing compared to Petra. That is an artery. And you're going to say, oh, come on, Roger, that can't be an artery. Oh, yes, it is. And that's all it is, is blood. Virtually, there's a little bit of connective tissue. I'll show you inside. These are sarcomeres. Each one of these blocks is a sarcomere. In us, you need a, a magnifying a, a electronic microscope to see it. Now, can I show this for sure? Absolutely, I can. And here's how I will show it for sure. That, remember, is Petra. This also is Petra, right there. You see that? That's an, a vein. That's a vein. That's a vein. That is the, the central deliverer of all of these. I, I'm sorry, did I say vein? I meant artery. These are arteries. Anytime you see red, is artery. And the red blood is, this is, these are sarcomeres. And I told you, the sarcomeres on the side, they're all sarcomeres. This is a bunch of mud, uh, um, muscle. And it's turned to mud and, and um, red sandstone looking stuff. 
nobody has any clue about it. It was alive, but it was alive. And that they just cut out of there. Now, did they do it when it was wet? I don't know. They did a nice job. They're very, very articulate craftsmen. Look at this. Now, I believe they put those holes in there to let the air through it, to let it dry up. And I, I, I'm, I would think this was wet when they did this. It looks absolutely magnificent to work. And inside, here's what it looks like inside. This is nothing more than blood and connective tissue. That's all it is. And that's inside, they call it the treasury. And then up above is all this stuff, is more connective tissue. And Because that's, that's what every muscle, and that, this, this is in the muscle area above the treasury area. Here, let me show you up close. This is what the muscle looks like. Then a little closer you see the actual individual sarcomeres, which they're just showing you how they can separate and they pull and all this. But when you get right down to a single sarcomere, that's what they look like. You see the dark and the light and then the stripe? These are the blocks you see at Petra. All right, these are those blocks I showed you right there. You see the dark, the two different contrasts here, contrast. This one's all chiseled up. I don't know what happened there, but that's these blocks. Those are the sarcomeres. And this is the blood that fed everybody so that they could do their job and continue to be muscle, which that's what muscle does. All right, and these are, they pinch in and forth like this. And if you got right down to where they look like in an electron microscope, this is what you see. The human body is just, I mean, what I have found in my mud fossil stuff, absolutely fascinating. Just fabulously fascinating. To me, I find people, they, they get upset at this. They don't want to hear about it. They say, oh, 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 oh. And I mean, they just turn off like a switch. Amazing. And I, I'm, I would love to hear some comments from people when they mention this to other people. Because, you know, I... I if you're an excitable person, you're going to get excited at this. I can't, I can't help thinking people must be getting excited at this. But there's very, very little activity on my channel. And, um, you know, the ones that are there just keep coming back. But the, the ones that aren't there just never want to come. And I guess that was what was said. It was said some won't see and some won't see. You're never going to change the eyes of the ones that won't see. So let me see if you see and let's see what you see. All right? Let's find out. Okay, I'm going to leave it at this. The, the school is starting very shortly. I need some helpers. I need some people to organize it. Um, I'm not good at any of that. <laughs> so... Uh, if somebody really wants to be able to contribute, now I'm not saying money, I, I, I need people to run the school and to run the interaction between the research, which all I want to do is present content and research, and then we will discuss it in some platform that I'm not capable of doing. So Paul Amatucci's writing the books, and, and I have nothing to do with that either. These are all his words other than the, the words in my papers. And they go back quite a ways. And some of those words will not even be true anymore. I found out things I didn't know. That's what research and science is all about. You don't stop somewhere and say, that's it from now on, that's the end of it. That's what happens in science. And then the guy's finally got to die. And then somebody's able to come along and say, and that's what Max Planck said, science advances one funeral at a time. <laughs> all right, so anyway, get ready. Stick around. Spread the word. You should be able to speak about this openly now. I know there was a time that that, that you were going to be slapped. And that still happened to a lot of people. I'd like to hear your comments from what you do encounter when you do say, hey, you should look at this stuff. Because it's real. I have nothing. I'm a material scientist. And that is what my new channel is going to be about, material science. All right? I love you. Stay in tune. Let's go back into reality. All right. Reality, the age of enlightenment was nothing what, not, that's not enlightenment to me.